Totally Awesome Outdoor Show was recently invited to join George Goddard, one of Mike's friends, on an informal pheasant shoot in North Hampshire. It was all pretty well organised, they were full of enthusiasts, and lucky for us, one of the guns was there to give us a bit of a breakdown, a bit of a rundown, if you were interested in starting shooting, pheasant or otherwise, into how you should go about the technicalities of safe shooting. Let's hope you enjoy it. George was on hand and everything was organised and here is Richard to give you a breakdown on the shooting. So it's important to have the right shot size. Um, you need at least a six and the six uh, has enough uh, of, of a, a size of shot to get through the, the feather. If you went for a seven and a half or an eight, that's typically what you'd use to uh, shoot clays and that wouldn't have much of an effect on a, a bird. In fact, you might just wound the bird, but you wouldn't necessarily bring it down or dispatch it cleanly. So that's why it's important to have the right size cartridges. Always break your gun. Uh, when you're shooting, this is, this is the peg, so we're live on the peg. Your gun must be on safety, never on uh, full arm. And you, I've got an O there and a, a U there. That's a over, under. So that means the top barrel is going to shoot first on the over under configuration. Okay. Is there a reason for that? Uh, it doesn't matter whether you shoot from the bottom. Can you? Is it alternate? Can you? Can you oh, shoot no, either yeah, barrel? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I can shoot either barrel. But but for me, I prefer to be over the first shot on the top barrel. Yes. And the second shot on the, the the bottom barrel. You don't change that mid shot though, do no, you? No, 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 no. Yeah. But that's always on safety, gun's always broken. Yeah. So when we're standing on the peg, we're looking at the direction of where the, the birds are likely to come from. And we're like that, and we're sure. waiting to see what flies over. So now you've got two things to do now. You've got to close that, am I going to call that the breach? You're going to close that and take it off safety. So, so you've got two, you know, so, here comes the bird, it's coming yeah, over now. Yeah. You haven't got a lot of time to do two things there as I see no, it. So what I'll be watching for, the beaters, you can see the beaters at the top there. They've not started to go in the wood yet, so I know there's no need for me sure. to be on, on. alert to any birds coming over. Yep. But once they have gone in the woods, look, there's a pigeon there. Um, what you'll see is you'll see a lot of small birds, the, the sort of typical garden bird, the sparrows, the blackbirds, whatever else, or magpies and jays. Sure. They'll be, they'll be uh, spooked and they'll probably fly towards us. That, that'll be my first indication. That the, that the beaters are pushing the birds forward sure. and flushing out um, the game birds. Then, and only then, will I put the gun uh, into a, a fully armed position okay. and upright, Yes. and then I'll await the first bird over me. Do you close that and then put it live, as it were? Yeah, I will do. Yeah. And all, always point it to the ground. Yeah. So I'll always close the, the gun in the ground like that, sure. pointing down. Yeah, and then swing up, and I'll just okay. hold that. I'm still on safety. Yeah, and then you come off safety. And then then. I'll, I'll come off safety then, and I'll be ready. So this is now this is armed and ready to fire. I have one major mistake as a cameraman. What's that? You're wearing earplugs. Yes. <laughs> I have so to. <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm going to be in the bar saying loudly. When, it's good though because when I'm in the bar and everybody says you're round of drinks, I can keep saying sorry, pardon. <laughs> Thank you and very then, much. And then you, you, we have to take care of cyclists. So you always unload the gun away from beaters, bystanders, anybody else. So I'll always be looking for a safe space. Sure. To point the gun, break it. Yes. To make sure that I'm there's no chance of me firing and yeah. inadvertently hitting somebody. Great. Safety first. Safety first, as always. Safety yeah. First.
<laughs> he gets through the tiniest of like yeah, holes. That's why they're good for working. Female. It's a hen bird, yeah. Yep. Happy Christmas. Is that better to eat than the cock? Which is the best? To... Cock is better to eat. It's nice plume, isn't it? Now, would that be a first shot or second shot? That was a second shot. Second shot, yeah. I, I, I nicked it on the first one, and then there's a second shot. Can't can't see where I shot it. I know it was up front, fairly up front. Yeah. And how are the birds faring with this mild conditions that we got in the winter? I mean, traditionally uh, you think of it being a winter sport, but are they are they sort of holding up well condition-wise? Yeah, I think so. That's a nice, that's a nice size hen bird, isn't it? With one section of woods covered and success, as they say, in the bag. It's time to change over to another area. Just a couple of fields across, down in the woods, the beaters would take the time to move, travel across, and you have to give them time, and the guns have to get set up and their pegs in their positions, and then the beating starts. Ready, Ty, give us a nod. If you stay with Roger that, we're moving now over. Roger that. Roger Delta. Nice and steady. I've got something in the wood. Hang on a second. Hold the line. Come through. Ready to move. You start moving.
Somebody got that one. Oh, is that George? So your dog gets that now? Is it? Come on, Will. Does he come back Will to you? Will. Come on, Will! Come on! Come on, dog. Go on, Musky! Come on, Musky! Come on. Oh, stop, you start that. And you know, I don't think it was the guns on the day that had the most excitement and the most enjoyment. I personally think it was those dogs. They love it. Hear him. Get it. Got him. Boom. We're into the final pickup of the day, a great day sport, track down those feathers, pick up the last of the birds, and then basically head back. And it's the benefit of having good dogs to be able to go through this broken undergrowth here and the grass and search out any birds that need picking up. I was there with the camera and I was looking personally I couldn't see and I knew where a lot of them landed some were pigeons that had been shot previously but the dogs do their work and the guns are going away happy not a bad day on Hurst Farm We've uh, just started shooting this farm again. We put down about 300 birds this year. Um, it's quite an informal shoot. Um, I don't know what the actual final bag is today, but we're looking probably, I think, circa 15 or maybe in total. Uh, gotta go in now and do the final count, have some food, and get on with Boxing Day.